What's up, guys? Welcome back to Stunt News, man. I hope y'all had a good first weekend of 2020. Mine was ridiculous. It was off the hook. I got to see all my friends from Jamaica, Arizona, New York, like everywhere, basically. We all went out to L.A., had a big ride, the first ride of the year. There was also the Bear Run and Valley Nights out there, hosted by Sick Riders and LL the Bear. Um, shout out to Blackwood Denim for hooking it up out there also for the end spot. It was a crazy ride. It was it was pretty entertaining weekend for sure, man. Uh, <clears throat> another thing is this accident that I'm about to show you. Um, Kellen stunts, yeah, Kellen stunts and McLovin. Kellen's backwards on his bike. I mean, this had there's only a few people that can do this, like Junkyard Kenny and Josh Graham. Um, backwards on the bike, and then McLovin's doing a wheelie. So Kellen's facing backwards on the freeway. And then goes to touch Mr. Levin's wheel, and I don't know what happened. I'll show you guys a video. But the front tire comes down on the bike, and Kellen washes out on the freeway. What we did was we had BTK go out there and get the reaction and thoughts of everybody else on what happened to the accident. So first, I'm going to show you the accident, and then we're going to tune in with BTK and all of his interactions. All right? Check it out. BTK here with Stunt News. I have Chanel and Domo here. We're gonna do a little interview with you guys. I have some footage of a crash that happened just recently, okay. and I kind of want to get your guys' reaction okay. on what you guys think kind of went down. It's a little hard to see, but I'm gonna show you guys anyways, okay? okay. So, so you have a guy in a wheelie. Wow, backwards standing up. Sta backwards wow. standing up. You have a guy okay. in a backwards yeah, standing up doing switchback, wow. another guy I'm doing a wheelie. Good. Now watch. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. How is this guy's bike still going? No, 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 nothing. <gasps> no! Oh my god! You're trying Ooh. to switch. <laughs> <laughs> what, do you, what do you think about that? McLovin f***ed up. McLovin f***ed up, you think so? Yeah. What? I, I think like he was, he was wheeling and it, it seemed like he was almost on the divider and he swerved a little and he got scared and he chopped the throttle and it came down and it hit the back of Kellen's uh, bike, you know, that, uh, that's what I seen. Yeah, man, honestly, those are two very good riders um, doing, you know, dangerous stunts. And uh, sometimes things get a little squirrely. It was nighttime, it's dark, the road's a little rough. And uh, sometimes you just don't go for certain things unless the conditions are right. You know what I mean? I mean yeah, I mean, that's, that, that's, that's a big one. That's already like a guaranteed answer of uh, we, it's unknown, you know? You don't, you, how do you know? What was, the, what was the floor condition right there? Or uh, what was the, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, it happened in front of me. I go to pick Kellen up the first time to throw him in a truck. And like, I'm back on my bike. Next thing I know, I see him hopping out of the truck trying to get back on his motorcycle. I don't know what's going on, and then I see it fall over. So I run back up there, and that's when I saw the second time his leg was just, his tibia fibula was snapped, dude. It was just sideways. It was so for those that don't study medical terms, what was broken? Tibia, his leg. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> well, in a stunt ride, everybody has to take a fault in something. So both parties were at fault. Uh, different things that they could have done, obviously. I mean, granted, what we do is not really, like, you know, right and, and correct. And we don't really practice, like, every week, like, hey, bud, I want to try a switchback with you. Let me just, you yeah. know, meet me at the stunt spot this weekend. Uh, people are flying in all over the country and stuff yeah. like that. You, look, you're trying to feed on the fact that you know I'm going to be honest and blunt. That's exactly what it was. I don't like what you're you. doing. You're putting it on. You're putting it on I him. I don't like it. I the same way. I don't know. It was McLovin's fault. That's what I said. I didn't, didn't want to say, say it, but, like... But 
Jesus I'm with Jesus <laughs> on this one. Jesus. Again, I don't know what my gardener, Jesus, has anything to do with his accident, but I appreciate you coming on Sun News and telling us that, you know, it's hey, someone's fault. That is racist. I mean, I from what I saw, I, I mean, that's what it looked like, but, you know, McLovin says he pulled on a tire. I don't know if that's true, if it's I true. mean, in the end, though, right, hey, but in the end, we know what we're doing, right? I mean, what we do is stupid, right? Yeah, I mean, whether it was McLovin's fault or not, you know, Kellen went into it knowing the the, you know, risk of it. You took a gnarly crash Friday night, man. Yeah. You want to talk about it a little bit? Yeah, for sure. Definitely took a gnarly crash with my boy Kellen, and uh, the <laughs> highway was really bumpy, but I got to a little too close to him. And then when he touched my tire, the bars cocked a little bit, and definitely a target fixation on his tail took me right into him as soon as the road waved and I used the brake a little bit too much. I definitely should have dropped back a lot more. We took him out and uh, got up. The bike wouldn't start, so then uh, we ended up pushing it all the way back to the shop and uh, Killen broke his ankle completely sideways. So he had to get in the truck and go to the hospital and he's having surgery on that, so. Yeah, but there's no there's no bad blood between you guys, right? I mean, this is all, all sport, man. I know, I know he's got nothing but, but, nothing but love for you. And I know you do too, but you know, just want to make every other viewers know that you know, because some people think like, oh man, that's just beef, and it's not like that. This sport's not like not that at all. It's all love for sure. Like we all know the risks we take when we get out on the bike. One of my good friends out in St. Louis actually passed away the other day, AJ Porter. Um, he was always in the streets, showed nothing but love, always had a smile on his face, and you know, just loved everyone in the sport, no matter what. He was always crashing, always getting up with a smile on his face, right back to it. And uh, he's no longer with us, but we'll never forget him. He was a great, great guy. Yeah, our condolences from Stunt News to AJ's family. It was a sad loss for the uh, Stunner community, man. He was a really good dude. You know, um, it, it's a hard hit for us. Well, perfect, man. Well, again, thank you guys for being on Stunt News. Thank Appreciate you, you guys. Hello. All right, guys. Thank you. Yo, once again, thanks again, BTK, for helping us out with that. I'm going to be doing pre-orders for beanies, probably some hats, too. So if you want to get in on the pre-order, stay tuned to Instagram. Um, I'm also going to do updates on here on our little posts for the community and stuff like that. So I'll send a link so that you guys can pre-order your hats. I'll probably leave the pre-order for open for about two weeks. And then, uh, you know, we'll get the, the hats and beanies made for you guys. Um, another thing, let's go ahead and uh, check out who won the RSC. Yes, sir. So just like any other raffle that I do, <clears throat> I go ahead and uh, put all the names, everybody that answered the question that I asked on the end of the last video, Brian636. I went ahead and entered you guys all into a name generator, name picker, random picker, whatever you want to call it. Um, and so this is the winner. Yeah. So congratulations, my guy. I'm going to uh, reach out to you, shoot us an email, and uh, we can go ahead and get you your brand new RSC Trigger Edition lever. Once again, thank you to RSC for hooking us up and being able to hook you guys up. Um, like I said, the more, the more feedback we get from you guys, the more comments, the more likes, the more shares, the better the prizes are going to be. I'm working on getting a brand new GoPro 8 for you guys to raffle off. Um, that's also by MV Legal Marketing. Uh, we'll have their link at the bottom in every video. Huge shout out to MV. They got us a canopy also as well. You know, MV is doing a lot for the bike community. So if you guys haven't checked out MV Legal, go ahead and do so. I'll leave their link also below. Um, another thing that I wanted to talk about was the people on stunt rides that are sitting in the left lane. Now, when in the beginning of a lot of rides, what we do is we tell everybody, stunners to the left, if you're not doing wheelies, stay to the right. Now, one thing that a lot of people get misconstrued or, you know, oh, it's too congested on the right-hand side. Oh, I'm just trying to pass and get in front. Oh, I'm recording this guy. And then, oh, let me upload it to my Instagram real quick. It doesn't work like that. There's and On Friday and Saturday and Sunday out there at the New Year's ride, there's so many people that were in the left lane that almost got smacked or land on top of because they weren't paying attention to what's going on behind them. You know, so... Once again, like street etiquette, I'm going to put the link up there so you guys can click that one if you haven't seen it yet. Um, always look behind you, man. Like, think about it. There's guys back there doing wheelies. Like, and if you're not paying attention, sometimes they might not see you. And then what? It's going to be your fault because we tell you guys at the beginning of rides, stay to the right if you're not doing wheelies. Even if you're filming. Think about it. If you're filming and you're still in the right lane, you're still six feet. That GoPro will reach. You know what I mean? If you're on your phone, you got to get a little bit further away to be able to get the whole bike on the person. So 
Just remember, guys, stay to the right if you are not doing wheelies. Once again, stay to the right if you're not doing wheelies. This goes for every single stunt ride. I appreciate all you guys for the for the love, support, everything like that. I'm going to post a video on Wednesday. I'm going to do my best to start posting videos at least twice a week because I have so much content that I'm trying to push out to you guys and so much knowledge I want to share with you guys. But there's not enough hours in the, in the day. So. so with that being said, I hope everybody has a great weekend, great week. Stay blessed, stay safe, and I'll see you all in the next one.